Pinch nerve in neck and shoulder is the subject of this video. Hi, I'm Dr. Shecky from Irvine Spine and Wellness Center, your Irvine posture, movement, and chiropractic clinic. Stay tuned. All right, so pinch nerve in neck and shoulder. A lot of people wonder about that and I've done a whole blog on what pinch nerve is, so we'll make sure we put that in the description box here. But when we talk about pinch nerve in the shoulder, not every shooting pain is a pinch nerve. So all the nerves that go into your upper extremity come from your neck. So different portions of your extremities are innervated or are being controlled by certain nerves coming from certain sections of your neck. So when you have pain in your shoulder here, as an example, it may or may not be an actual nerve pinch because pinched nerve, while it shoots pain and it has associated symptoms, has also these things called imposters the trigger points that actually shoot pain. That's the whole uh, reason behind the word trigger. It triggers pain. So when there's uh, applied pressure over those areas, it can shoot pain. So then you may think, well, I'm not putting any pressure on anything. How is it shooting pain? And the answer is it doesn't have to be an outside physical application of pressure. It could be that certain movements that you do because there's a dysfunction in movement, certain movements that you do a plot have created unnecessary overactivation of muscle, certain muscles, therefore leading to trigger points. And then through movements, an engagement of the musculature that creates tension over the area where the trigger points are, and then it shoots pain. So before you label yourselves or Dr. Google tells you you have pinched nerve, you need to better understand if you actually have pinched nerve or not. So if it's not, then what's the treatment? Is it massage? Sure, that helps, but that's not gonna take away the dysfunction so in order to take away the dysfunction that led to muscle tension, which can be helped by a massage therapist, you need to understand what that dysfunction is. Who is the person to go to? Not necessarily the people that you're used to going to. So you need to understand that if we isolate the area and try to rehab the area, we're only addressing part of the solution because before this pain came to the surface to alert you, there were a lot of dysfunctions and involvement, wrong involvement of your body parts took place to accommodate your wish. Your wish might have been to ignore the problem. Your wish might have been to still go to the gym to work out your shoulders, even though it's dysfunctional shoulder, your wish might have been, I don't have time for this crap. Whatever that wish is, is irrelevant. The dysfunction is the key. So what do we address when we have shoulder problem, the actual shoulder, your elbow, wrist, your neck, and your shoulder blades have to be addressed. We're not talking about stretching them or strengthening them. In isolation, we're talking about putting them through movements that involve all of them, learning how to work together. This is what developmental movements are, and this is what functional movement is. Check out my website under services provided, functional movement, developmental kinesiology, postural neurology. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, don't hesitate. <laughs> don't hesitate to contact me. Take care.